With your first news at 10 Sports, here's JT Farabo. For the first time in North Dakota high school girls hockey history, a number eight seed has made it to the state championship title game. That team is the Century Patriots, and they faced off against the number two seed Fargo North South this afternoon. The Spruins are looking for back to back to back state titles, and it's going to be the Spruins with the opening goal here. That's a long strike from distance to nab the lead with 13 minutes remaining in the first period. North South makes it 2-0, but the Patriots aren't finished. Early in the second period, Avery Matt finds the back of the net. She's been scoring all tournament. This halves the Spruins lead. Less than five minutes later, the Spruins would find a goal again. It's Olivia Klobas who puts the game away at 3-1. to one. Century will fall 5-1 to one at the hands of the Spruins in the girls' championship game. The Rough Riders are your boys' state champions. On the boys' side of the tournament, Minot takes third place while Fargo North beats Century to take fifth. Grand Forks tops Mandan to take third on the girls' side, while West Fargo United takes fifth over Devil's Lake. And in junior hockey, the Wings beat the Bobcats 4-3, and the Minotauros are still playing against the Bruins 5-1 is that current score. As we've mentioned throughout this week, qualifying for the state tournament in basketball looks a little different this year due to the three-class system. Two straight state qualifiers for the girls' Class B tournament took place in Minot this afternoon, and Joe Skrzewski was there. Let's get on with it in Region 3, runners-up Central McLean taking on Region 4's number 3 seed TGU. Late in the second, Morton Schneider hits a three-pointer there. Closing moments of the first half, TGU's Boston Bailey, she'll beat the buzzer here with a three. Now, second half, the Titans are trying to make a run. Central McLean has a pretty big lead here. The dish to Ashley Martyrdom, who finds a layup there. It won't be enough. The Cougars get a convincing win over a tough TGU squad. Snyder and Kelstrup, they lead the Cougars with 23 points each. 75-43 to 43 is that final. Game two of the Class B qualifiers between Kinmare Bobels and Grant County Mott Regent. Kinmare Bobels leading late. Good ball movement gets Honkers Breed Trust, who drains the three there. Now Grant County Mott Regent on a late run. Summer Meyer, she's going to hit a long range jumper there. Moments later, Mache Miller, she's going to pick the pocket. She takes it to the house the other way. And then Kinmare Bobels, they get this win. They bounce back from their region title loss to take down. Grant County Mott Regent and clinch a spot in the girls B. The Class A state tournament bracket looks like this. Valley City wins its state qualifier and will take on two seed Botno to begin the tournament on Thursday. Northern Cass will play three seed Devils Lake. One seed Thompson plays Watford City and Shiloh will face South Prairie Max. The Class B girls bracket. Bowman County faces Maple River. The Cougars will face the Rebels. Mayport CG takes on Kim Mayer Bobels and our Redeemers squares off with Sargent County. Some college basketball scores for you. You marry women, pick up a win in Sioux Falls while the men fall by 20. Minot State's women's team make the NSIC postseason thanks to a Lorelei McIver buzzer beater. The men's win by 24. And then on the hardwood, NDSU and UND met, keeping that rivalry alive. The Bison win, men win by five, and the Bison women put up triple digits to get the dub. The state gymnastics individual competition took place this afternoon in Dickinson. The defending vault champion is Dickinson freshman Elizabeth Karski. Here she is heading towards the vault. She does some flips and turns and lands a perfect 9.9 .9 with that performance. I don't see how you can get much better than that. Now, onto a floor routine. It's Dickinson sophomore Aspen Rodemar. She sticks this tumbling routine and finds her way with an exceptional score of 9.667. Now it's Grand Forks freshman Jocelyn Hoffs. She's preparing her dismount on the uneven bars. And look at this solid landing. My heavens, that is a score of 9.25. That is some excellent gymnastics. Congrats to those ladies. Here's the WDA boys swimming standings. Century finishes first, just edging past Minot, who finishes one point below them. Bismarck, Legacy, and Williston all finish in the top five. All right, so what I'm getting from watching that whole sports segment is that you and Joe had a very busy day. Busy day indeed, <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right, thanks a lot. We'll yeah. be right back.